the next table yeah this of significance is is the table of est tables of estimated marginal means the first one is the grand mean uh, which provides us with the total mean of uh, all scores across all four variables which is 40 which is 64.067 and if you look at the mean score for gender as you see the males mean scores mean score falls above the grand mean score and the females mean score is below it so there is there is a difference between the observed grand mean and the observed means of the two genders now there is a pairwise comparison and uh, the the kind of adjustment for multiple comparisons that was made was least significant difference or basically it's equivalent to no no adjustments I could quickly go back to the analysis uh, and here to the to this option and change it to Bonfroni correction and continue and do it again do the analysis again but I'm not going to do this because uh, this uh, this uh, pairwise comparison is across gender is not really multiple comparisons because you only have one comparison it's male versus female or the other way around we don't have more than two groups so uh, Bonferroni correction doesn't apply here but for time it would uh, for example uh, right here uh, you have several comparisons one against two time one against three time one against four and so on and so forth so you could actually do a Bonferroni correction and see if the significance if the significance values change uh, at all or not so you can actually do that on your own when you're doing the analysis because this video is already very long so I go through the rest of the results a bit more quickly so multivariate tests for time and multivariate tests uh, and the univariate test for gender have also been outputted just to give you an idea where this multivariate test is coming from it's actually the the first it's the same as the first multivariate test that we looked at before if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, for example Pillai's trace and Wilkes lambda uh, they are significant at 0 0.005 both and they are returning a partial eta squared of 0 0.383 so let's go back to check it out here is the f uh, where is that? the first multivariate test that we skipped and we didn't look into because the uh, uh, Mulchi's test of sphericity was significant so the same results exactly here especially with the first two rows uh, Pillai's trace in Wilkes lambda this, so what I'm trying to say is that the same information has been repeated uh, again here in this multivariate test and finally we have gender times time this is the interaction effect which as we saw was not significant and it really doesn't matter if we have pairwise comparison tables or not but if if you're very interested to get that, that pairwise comparisons because uh, quite interestingly sometimes even though the, the main effects are not significant when you compare two by two you can still see some significant differences between them uh, but you have to do it using the syntax so I have explained this in another video in the ANOVA video in details what we need to do is to add this notation here uh, this this is the interaction effect and choose for example gender uh, to interact uh, to, to add it in to run the analysis again so I'm going to highlight everything and select run and there we are so I quickly go to the pairwise comparisons and uh, let me see time three time okay gender time so we we already saw this but in the previous analysis we didn't have the pairwise comparisons for gender times time but here we've got the pairwise comparisons 
Oh, well, like I predicted, so we don't have any significant differences between males and females in time one. Let me double click this. And similarly, there is no significant differences between this, the two genders in time two and so on and so forth. So this provides further evidence that the test uh, that we already saw, the multivariate test that we saw previously, uh, well, is really non-significant. But like I said, under some circumstances, you might still see one or two, if you have many comparisons, you might see one or two significant differences, and that's quite interesting. Okay, so, um, and I think that's more or less it because you don't need to really interpret this univariate tests uh, because it's just similar to the results that that has been reported here uh, the profile plots are here as well if you like to take a look um, just go ahead we really don't see any intersections uh, perhaps the only reason why I usually output the plots is just to take a quick look to find out if there there might be any intersection or any crossing or diverging or converging patterns in this case you don't see any of those patterns as you can see uh, that's another uh, indication that there will there will not be any interaction effect in my data so thank you very much for your attention um, this is the third section of this repeated measures and over video I hope you have enjoyed it and if you liked it please give it a like and please stay tuned in, I will make more videos about other multivariate data analyses. Thank you very much.